52 Traders, episode 94. This is the very core of what's driving price because, you know, behind the candles you see on the screen, uh, you know, these candles uh, are representative of civilizational conduct. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Welcome to another episode of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we've got somebody that I've managed to track down finally. Finally got him on on the mic, got him in an interview. Uh, His name is a funny name. It's actually something you might have in your cleaning cupboard. It's a rag. So you might have a rag in the cleaning cupboard to do a bit of dusting or whatever. Anyway, this guy's name's Rag. He's actually got a fuller name than that, but I I really struggle to pronounce it, and I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I think we do maybe mention it in the show, but we're going to go with Rag for now. So this is Rag we've got on the show. Now, why is this kid so special? Well, this one's called a kid. He's not really a kid. He's he's almost 20. Uh, He's 19 years old. That's why he's special, 19 years old, and he's done some phenomenal stuff. He's got a great story to share with us today. He didn't start when he was 18 and a half, so he has got probably a lot more experience than most of us listening here, and especially given, you know, you can be 40 years old, you can be 35 years old, but if you don't put in the time, if you don't have a dedicated time like under your belt, you, you know, you're, you're not going to be in the same position as other people who are younger who've just spent a hell of a lot more time learning, doing stuff in this space, okay, you know, and if you learn quickly, you'll work out what doesn't work, and you'll work out what does work, and then obviously go on to success, so guys, anyway, this guy has got a great way about him, the interview today is absolutely superb, so it goes on for about, about an hour, I think just under an hour, we, we talk together, Rag tells us a strategy at the end of the show, he goes into detail around, how he approaches his market, his amazing story as to how he got into the market and got to where he is now, and hopefully it will motivate you guys if it doesn't give you information to go away and actually put some stuff into play on the charts. So he's got a really unique naked chart approach to trading. So I don't know if I mentioned, but I mean, I, I found we found out about Rags. So if you haven't been following the story, we found out about him through one of the students, which was uh, Andre Stewart, who's been on the show before. Now, Andre... Was learning from Rag to to enhance his knowledge, and he'd followed this guy and found this guy, and decided that you know I want to learn some of the stuff that he knows, so that he can help him with his approach to trading. And look, uh, I did a session today with with Andre myself, and I've got to say this guy's going from strength to strength to strength with what he knows, and it's a testament to to Rag here, who's oh, look, he's only nineteen, only nineteen guys, and you know he's cracked it. Uh, I, I actually uh, have heard some stories outside of what we talk about here on the podcast and i know for a fact that uh, there there is this guy is doing very very well okay so if there's someone to listen to i'd listen to this uh man rag on the show here today now there is a one story in the show which is also absolute doozy that i'd heard and i get confirmation from rag that it is actually true so if you want to find out what that story is and uh and if it's true then keep listening to the show Coming up in a couple of seconds. Now, if you do want to listen to the full episode, you need to jump onto 52traders.com and grab yourself a pro membership there. It's only $4.97. Jump on board and you'll get access to not just this full episode, but all the other episodes on the 52 Traders podcast. Uh, And you'll get them in full. So you get all the show notes, you get the charts that come with it, you get videos that come with it, all the good content that's there. It's only four ninety seven. I mean, as I mentioned in my last episode, if you're spending four ninety seven on something else a month, if it's or a week or a day, if you're going, if you're getting a McDonald's, if you're getting a, I mean, a bottle of water costs four ninety seven in the supermarket these days. It's ridiculous. So if you're looking at buying something for four ninety seven, you're thinking, well, am I better to buy this thing here that it's going to be like three five seconds and it's going to be gone, or it's a burger you're going to eat it in two minutes, it's a drink you're going to drink it in a, an hour. Do you want to fill your brain up with four hours, approximately four hours worth of content, if not more, a month here on the 52 Traders podcast? And this is not just content. This is great knowledge to help give you ideas, lead you in the right direction for trading the markets in a successful way. 
I feel like I'm getting close. I'm getting very, very close now. So I hopefully I can turn around and show you some good stuff, some good trades that I'm taking now that I'm managing to free up some time here uh, to actually spend some time concentrating on it. And I think that's half the battle, guys, just concentrating on this stuff. So 52traders.com, jump on board, take up the pro membership, uh, if you want to have a look at my other site, automatemytrading.com, we can actually automate some of the stuff. We've got a cool little robot that we've built at the moment that I'm getting the guys to have a look at, and uh, it does some amazing stuff. So jump on my Facebook Live there if you want to have a look at the video, which quickly shows you some of the results that this robot threw out the uh, or spat out the other end. Uh, we're having a look at trying to optimize that. So if you do want to come on board and start learning to build robots yourself to trade the markets then all you need to do is jump onto my other site automatemytrading.com all right guys i think that's it let's hear this amazing interview with our my new friend rag oh and there was one other thing i should mention if you do want to come on the journey that i'm going through at the moment with andre stewart teaching me how to trade the markets then all you need to do is jump on to 52traders.com forward slash andre uh, as I said, I had a session this morning, I think I said that here, I had a session this morning with him and I've got to say, he's going from strength to strength. So the interview I recorded with him probably two, three months ago, uh, he's now taking things to the next level, the next level. I mean, I don't even want to say what he's doing because it's just stupidly good and it sounds too hyped up to even mention it, okay? So I don't want to say it. If you do want to find out what it was, then jump onto my Facebook feed, uh, oh, facebook.com slash 52traders, and you'll see me mention it there, but it's it's just it's too impossible to actually mention, okay? So I don't, I, don't want, I don't like talking about it. Just go in there, have a look if you want to find out, or just jump on board this, this journey. Unlimited mentorship, guys. 52traders.com forward slash Andre at a reasonable, very reasonable price. There's only 24 spots left at the moment, so if you want to take up one of those spots, then please do so. There's a group. They've got, uh, the, you know, you can put, he's putting charts up and stuff in the group, so you can follow those. He's offering up videos and group sessions and one-on-ones, and he's going for it at the moment, guys. So uh, if you do want to jump on board this experience and really just stop what you're doing and completely go for something that is going to get you trading potentially the one minute charts but it still works on the five the 15 and upwards uh if you do want to just really have a raw view of price then i can recommend this as someone to actually go and learn from so guys 52traders.com forward slash andre now right this is it we're going to go into the show now okay so let's hear from rag damn it there's one more thing i need to mention <laughs> i can't believe it so in the episode there is a, a little bit of swearing and also because of the internet connection for whatever reason there are these little gaps in there and I figured that it was easier for me to instead of trying to piece it all together which would just completely mess the whole thing up I'll just leave them in there uh, it's just where it's a bit laggy so if it goes silent for a second just leave it it'll take one or two seconds it's all and then you'll hear Rag continue to talk and then you'll hear me over talk over him for a little split second and then we sort of, we actually don't lose any content this way. If you do lose some content, please let me know and I'll ch ch or chuck a note in the show notes and I will uh, assure you I'll let you know what was said during that time. But I can assure you it's pretty much all the contents there, all the good stuff that Rag talked about is there. Uh, if you do have anything that you cannot understand for whatever reason, then please drop, drop a link in the show notes and I will clarify that for you. If not, go back to Rag and ask him what the story was. Okay, guys, let's finally, finally, finally get into the show. Right, guys, so welcome to 52 Traders. Uh, we've got Rag. Is it Rag we're going to call you? Uh, you've got a longer yeah, name. Yeah. but everyone calls, me, everyone calls me Rag. Rag. So. And, and <laughs> how, do you, how do you say your full name? Uh, Raghav. Okay. It's, it's, it's an Indian name, a little bit difficult to pronounce, so, so Rag is fine. <laughs> I'll stick with Rag. I, I really do struggle with, with names that are, that are, that are difficult yeah. to say. Um, so, okay, brilliant. So, so Rag's with us from Toronto. Um, what's it like over there at the moment in Toronto? It's it's good. Weather weather is pretty decent. We have a lot of things going on currently. Caravana OVO festival was yesterday. You know, a lot of lot of things going on in this city. So, 
uh, weather is decent right now before uh, all hell breaks loose in the fall and winter. But you know, it's a, it, we're having a good time here in the Forex community. Brilliant. I've, I've been to Toronto once before, mm-hmm. only for a few hours though. It was yeah. I spent the whole time in the airport. Um, snowy yeah. is probably all I could say. It was very snowy outside. It was yeah. one of the yeah, no. rare times that I've seen snow in a city. Um, it's probably yeah. actually the first time I ever saw, ever saw snow in a city, funnily enough. Oh. <laughs> right, so we've got Rag on the show. Now, Rag was referred to me by Andre Stewart, who's also been on the show. So he, he mentioned Rag, and I was like, I've got to get this guy on. He's 19 years old. And some of the stories that Andre was able to tell me, I don't know if, we, if we're going to share them on the show today, but hopefully we can, were quite phenomenal. So do you want to first give us a bit of a background to you personally and, and how you first got into trading and, and your trading story to date? So, you know, when I first got into trading, I saw a uh, a, a 16-year-old kid of Jewish descent get, like, I think it was like 50000 bucks on the Dragon's End, the Canadian version of Shark Tank. Um, the throw in his trading account, I believe he was trading FX and he was trading uh, Penny. So some, something like that, I don't quite remember, but that sort of triggered uh, my fascination with this, um, that, that there is the opportunity for a young individual to, to, to prosper in something with the level of scalability uh, that the industry sort of entails. Um, but, you know, I guess what fueled my fascination or my interest in getting involved with in this industry was sort of that realization that uh, – you know, conventional institutional education wasn't going to equip me with the tools uh, to um, achieve the level of success I truly strive for. So I sort of took it upon myself to educate myself in regards to uh, what industries are going to truly enable me to develop the type of platform I desired and really, at the end of the day, live the lifestyle I desired. So I sort of concluded it to two industries. I found that tech and uh, uh I guess trading the financial markets don't necessarily have unlimited financial scalability, but scalability that's only sort of limited by civilizational progression. You sort of get what I mean? Like um, massive scalability that that entails the whole of civilization. So um, I was really fascinated by that element of it. So, uh, you know, I, I really didn't have a mentor early on. It was really me sort of uh, picking up things from videos online. So YouTube videos on price action and trading and technical analysis and how to trade penny stocks and this and that. So I, I primarily did begin with equities. Um, you know, I began when I was 15 years of age, actually, uh, towards the end of the ninth grade. So um, and You know, I started with about 1500 bucks, really wasn't much. Um, I was sort of up and down with it. It was more sort of experimental than anything rather than making sort of an income. But, um, you know, I I did end up compounding, you know, quite a bit. Uh, By the time came senior year, I hit a slump. So, you know, Forex is something I began at that point. Before that, I was a little bit hesitant to enter into Forex because, once again, I really didn't have a mentor. I was skeptical of some of the things available online and me being a very self-directed learner at the end of the day. So I decided to sort of take the plunge. I realized from an analytical standpoint that there are differences between how you would execute in the foreign exchange markets uh, comparatively to how you would execute in the equity markets. Uh, you know, But once again, because I had most of the elements there, finding consistency early on in FX wasn't really too difficult, but I really didn't have that high level of consistency. You know, There'd be times where I would you know, go on a really good string of trades for like a week, uh, screw up and things of that nature. And at that point, I was really reliant on indicators. I don't know what it was. I was I couldn't stop using stochastic or RSI, and I was using things like. All right, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that sneak peek. It wasn't just a sneak peek. It's about an hour long this episode. So if you want the full thing in its glory, if you're a pro member, you've already got it. Just jump onto your uh, onto the website and you'll find it there. Or you can get it in your app. It'll be up there in your pro member feed automatically. So just listen to it as per normal. Get on with your week. Get on with your day, whatever. Uh, if you do want to jump on board as a pro member, 52traders.com. Or you can actually find a link. And if you're, if you're on your phone, you'll find a link in the phone in the show description. So you can go there and order a pro membership. Easy peasy. And... We've got some other things going on. We've got Trading Mentors Match Off. If you want to take up that, then if you join as a pro member, uh, there's an option to take up Trading Mentors Match Off 
for just $45, so you get it for $2 less. And we've got Andre, of course, as well, so if you do want to take your trading to the next level and join me on this journey of learning how to trade without using indicators on the chart, then please jump on to 52traders.com forward slash Andre. I'll try and put that link in the show description as well as the Automate My Trading. So if you're looking for robots trying to automate some of the stuff that you do or all of the stuff that you do or find a completely automated system, then please jump on my other site, automatemytrading.com. So guys, some call to actions for you here. Uh, until next week, I suppose, unless I see you on the site. Catch up with you. Bye.